Dr. Stanley Rothman has been a professor of mathematics at Quinnipiac University for 43 years. While Rothman has taught various types of math classes, he was presented with the opportunity to teach a new class for the 2008 school year. At that time, Quinnipiac was looking at a sports minor, and a professor of psychology, Larry Levine, who was going to head the program, happens to also be a member of Sabermetrics, which is a group that meets to discuss baseball. And he basically, knowing my interest in baseball, approached me and said, how would you like to uh, design a course that we can use for the sports minor and involves baseball and statistics or sabermetrics? His only issue with starting the course? No such textbook existed for the class. That's when he was approached to write the book for the course himself. Rothman wasn't so thrilled at first, however. I said, well, I'm not really a writer. In fact, one of the things that when I was an undergraduate, I would take any course that did not involve writing. The one of the things in writing a textbook is consistency. You've got to keep the same notation throughout the book. You need proofreading. And when you're by yourself, that's exactly where you are. An avid Yankee fan all of his life, Rothman possessed more than enough baseball knowledge to complement his math background. But what exactly would the book consist of? So this book is really two parts, which I love. The first 15 chapters teach statistics. The same statistics you would learn in, in any statistics course you take. The only difference is the underlying subject matter is baseball. The last three chapters are special chapters dealing with my own baseball research. One chapter studies streaking, or streaks I should say, in particular Joe DiMaggio's 56 game hitting streak. The next chapter answers the question, will we have another 400 hitter? And the final chapter goes into who are the 10 greatest hitters of all time. So what exactly can students who take the class expect to learn? Rothman believes the course teaches much more than just baseball. Statistics is used in everybody's life every day. I don't care what you major in, you will need, statistics is used in psychology, sociology, history, political science, the plus, your everyday decisions are based on the question of probability and statistics. Should we buy a stock? Should we change jobs? There's always a risk factor. If I change jobs, am I going to like the job? If I buy this stock, will the stock go up? It's all based on probability. And when you make decisions, you're never going to be sure that they're 100% right, which is the basis of our study in statistics. Four years after starting it, Rothman's book is finally complete. But how exactly did it feel to get his hands on that first hard copy? When I had my first two sons, and I was in the delivery room, and I got to pick them up, it was a tremendous thrill. And that's how I felt about this book. And if I may say one more thing, Quinnipiac University, the dean, my fellow faculty, were great encouragements to me. Even after writing a book, Stanley Rothman still has one goal left to accomplish, breaking the 51-year Quinnipiac teaching record currently held by a man named Stanley Katz, a goal that, like his book, will eventually be reached. I love being at Quinnipiac, and um, hopefully if my health holds out, um, I will continue and break that record of 51 years, which is my goal. So I have no intention of leaving here because this is my hobby, this is my life. And being a college professor is like, unlike other vocations, where you can say 43 years later, you're happier here than you were the first year you started. And that's honestly how I feel. I love being here, it's a great university, my students are great, and I just enjoy it. It's a hobby, more than a job.